Hello guys, this is Awesome Fire 1234 and today I'm going to be showing you um, how to make a basic Roblox game. So first of all you're going to want to open up Roblox Studio and then you just want to click on base plate and then you can go to theme, gameplay and all that and use other things but I'm just going to use an empty base plate for this example. Now you could also go to Roblox then you could go to develop and then in the develops tab build new place and then just pick whatever place you want and then from there click on edit or build mode which I'll get into in, to in another video and so in here I've got the basics the output area the input area the toolbox and properties and explorer now in most videos they don't show how to get to this but you want to go to view and then here there's like start page toolbox output in command bar properties and explorer now all these are in 2014 slash 15 I guess um, so maybe in the future they won't look like this but this is what it looks like as of now and uh, we're gonna start out with the basics of brick building I guess so here's your material you just click on this drop down button and in here you've got plastic wood wood plank slate concrete metal corroded metal diamond plate foil all these other different ones and for example, I am going to use, um, oh, there's so many choices, I'm going to go with metal just for this. And then in here you just hit this drop down button and then there's all these colors. I'm probably going to pick, I don't know, I'll just pick tan. I don't know why metal would be tan. And then surface, we'll use this after we've got the part. So part here, you can pick if you want it to be a part, sphere, wedge, cylinder, whatever you want. And then you just click on this button and there's our part as you can see it has these bumps on it and all those other cool games it's like non bumpy I'll pick a different material just so you'll be able to see it we'll use wood there that looks way better now this is where the surface comes in handy we can use uh, smooth which makes everything smooth but uh, say we get another one of these which simply all you have to do for this is control plus C then control plus V and it creates another copy of the same brick so anyhow, say we were to stick these in to on top, and say I kick it, it's going to fall over because it has no material to hold it together. Um, sorry about that. What you would want to do, you could also um, use this tool here called Anchor. This just makes the selected parts unmovable. Nothing can move them. And so in order to do other things, you're going to want to, um, I think it's... In studs, yes. You're gonna want to add these studs. And now, if we put these together like this, and then um, another thing, uh, why don't I just get started with this? Here you have like you can also copy and paste, cut and duplicate, which I don't. Yeah, I don't know what that's for. Um, oh my, it puts them in the same place. That's an experience for me. <laughs> Anyhow. Um back to what I was saying um, you can also select and move here this simply allows you to move your parts freely and more advanced then we have scale here you can largen and unlargen parts or make bigger or whatever then you have a rotate here as you can see these are all very choppy this is where the studs come in handy now if I select this to a fifth of a stud I can make shorter movements around and if off you can just move it as freely as you want I usually like to stick to one stud because it's simple but during complex designs I like to use um, one fifth of a stud because it seems very simple so then you've got your toolbox which you can use here and I'll get into that later then I explained all these and then you can go to model on this and it kinda keeps the same base except for union and all these I'll get into later and same with the effects and spawn and then terrain, um, this is just how you do things here. Um, yeah, do things here. Wow, that was stupid. Uh, this allows you to create a brickish type look, but it generates a terrain that you can um, fix in build mode and such. And it's quite different and harder to use, but I'm not sure how to make it work, like build mountains and stuff like it used to be able to. Now, if you click on this test tab, give me a second to catch my breath. Um, you can click on play here, which it should be like a character by a blue play button. If you click that, 
it will allow you to play as a character. Now, if you click this, this will just run the game and show you what you can see. So I'm going to play it like this. And then, here I am. Except for here, it won't give you your real username. It's just player. If I kick it, for some reason, it's, oh yeah, see it's moving a bit. There we go. That's good. You see how it's different. Now, if we go model smooth, watch what will happen. Oh, what just happened there? Um, anyhow, there. Now, play. And I kick it. See, it doesn't stick as well. So you could kind of picture these as Legos. You get those smooth Legos. If you put a smooth Lego on top of another smooth Lego, it isn't going to turn out very well. So that was texturing and moving and all that other stuff. And let me get down into part two. Um, so part two here is simply showing how to make bricks like we're going to build some, for example and say like we're gonna build like a little house of some sort which i'm working on one at the moment but um so here we've got our house like walls i guess and we can just keep copying and pasting these and um right here we've got very simple like a box type and instead of having to put all these parts so it'll stick together, we're just going to simply anchor, and then that makes it to where it's unmovable, like I said before. And just to prove it, I can't really move it. See, I don't know how well I'm showing this, but I really can't. And then I'm going to get back to what I was doing. And then you can select all these parts and press Control plus G to group it all into one object so you can move it freely. Now, whenever it's in anchor mode, that doesn't mean you can't move it in creative. Like, I can do this and it's still in anchor mode. It's only whenever you're, a character is playing in the game, it'll do that. Now, that was the other part of it, and now I'm going to get on to models. Now, whenever you start this up, you should see a whole bunch of uh, people-made models. And a lot of these are pretty hard to make. I mean, I'm still having trouble making some of these. But we'll use, um, like, I don't know. Alright, I gotta explain so much to this. Um, but yeah, we'll just use the assorted bricks, and then they're fully usable. They're just like as if you've made them, and you can give them out for people to use. Such as this, now I can make it bigger. Like, wow, that's way big. But um, I can do this, and in order to make this for somebody else to play, like use, I go to File, and then Publish Selection to Roblox. And then in here you'll see all these models, and then create new, and then name it whatever you want. Now this is somebody else's, so I'm not going to steal their creative or design to it. Anyhow, I'm going to go to my model, which I've got a whole bunch of weird stuff, but I uh, made this. And this is all in unioning, uh, or union, whatever you want to call it. And I'll be showing you in this in the next tutorial, so if you're interested... Please uh, see my next video, and if you thought this was a good video, please just subscribe, and if you really like it, subscribe to see more. Feeling my way through the dark.